Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. Uh, a couple days ago, I did a video, uh, How to Raise Guppy Fry the Easy Way. And I talked about some of the different foods I feed uh, to my fry. But one of the things I didn't mention, which uh, I do feed quite often, are these Ocean Nutrition Frozen Cyclops. Um, I've been feeding frozen cyclops for a very long time. It was one of the first frozen foods I uh, started feeding even before the fishing when I just had a couple tanks. Um, but I really like the packaging of this brand. I've, I haven't tried any other brand to be honest, but it comes in this little frozen with these little cubes and you just pop them out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you just pop them out. I'll show you in a little while. Um, but what I do is I put, because I have so many tanks, is I put five cubes at a time in a little container of water. And I use, I use dechlorinated water. Um, and then it melts the cubes. And then I just pour the water with the little tiny cyclops um, into the tanks. <coughs> you can certainly feed a whole cube to a tank if you have enough fish that are gonna eat it. And I'll show you that as well today. Uh, some of the other things I feed my guppies in general, as far as frozen food goes, are frozen bloodworms and frozen brine shrimp. Now, I do hatch baby brine shrimp, but I don't have the time sometimes to feed, you know, uh, brine shrimp, to hatch brine shrimp. Or if I travel, when I get back, I have to start the whole process again. So I do usually have frozen in my freezer, you know, as a go-to if I need it course right now i'm out of it but i do have uh frozen bloodworms and i do the same thing i get the flat pack which i didn't bring it to show you because it's big and i forgot but whatever so it's a, a flat pack like this of uh frozen bloodworms that comes in one pound or two pound you can also get the frozen bloodworm cubes and i think those come in two different sizes really small bloodworms and regular bloodworms but uh yeah they do anyway the frozen blood worms i get the two pound pack and i just break off pieces put them in this little deli cup as we've talked about before also with dechlorinated water let it melt and then i just pour uh pour them into some tanks now you can also break off a tiny piece or whatever and put it straight in the tank if you wanted i just choose not to do that because with 55 tanks my hands will get cold and it would be really hard to break little tiny pieces off um, I know some people that buy the flat pack of the frozen bloodworms. They let it thaw for a little while, not fully thaw. Then they take a pizza cutter and they cut it into cubes and then they refreeze those cubes. You could do that. That's easier. Um, I'm not one to refreeze frozen food if I don't have to. I kind of think that's, that's, I, I think that's going to do something with the taste and the fish might not eat it. Now, I've never done any scientific work on that, but that's what I think, so. All right, you want to see me feed some Ocean Nutrition Cyclops and Bloodworms? Stand by. <clears throat> All right, fishy folks, I have the delicious cocktail of Ocean Nutrition Frozen Cyclops here. We're just going to pour it into the Black Moscow tank. There's a lot of fry in there. Now, I do feed this to my fry, but I also, you know, the adults love it too. And guppies are small, so it's fine. But it's small enough where the fry can nibble on it, uh, the juveniles can nibble on it, and the adults, of course, will nibble on it. And you can see them all going crazy for it. I think you can see them all going crazy for it. The front of the glass is clean. It's just the sides that are dirty. All right, shall we uh, show you another tank? How about I move the camera and we look at these magenta guppies. Stand by. All right, we're in front of the magenta guppy tank. You can see there's quite a few different males and females and fry and there they go mmm yummy delicious cyclops and that's about all i feed now i may come back like when i'm done feeding if i look and all the food's gone i'll probably supplement with flake or if i have leftover um cyclops i'll put it back in this tank <clears throat> The other thing I like to do to get the maximum amount of cyclop usage is when I'm done and there's nothing left, I dip the whole container in a tank and that gets whatever residual uh, cyclops on the sides out. So, all right, shall we do some frozen bloodworms? I think we shall. All right, fishy folks, I'm here at the Red Dragon Guppy Tank. 
These guys aren't on the website yet <clears throat> because I only have a couple adults, but there's two drops of fry in there. So hopefully in a couple weeks or maybe a little longer, we will uh, put them up on the website. These red dragons I got from Super Breeder Steve at an auction. I actually bought them from the auction, not from him. Um, but uh, they're really nice. They're sort of red cobra or red grass maybe, but they have a little bit of a dark streak to them. And they have really dark dorsal fins uh, that make them look pretty big. And um, they really are a nice looking guppy. But anyway, let's, let's talk about feeding frozen blood worms. So I just pour a little bit in and you can see immediately that it catches the guppy's eye and boom, they're eating them. And they are delicious. Uh, frozen food is probably the second best food you could feed your fish in my opinion obviously uh, right behind live food of course there's just less mess and fuss and uh, chances of live food getting out in your house uh, with frozen food so that's what I feed uh, feed sometimes the guppies and uh, that's what helps me breed for profit and helps me um, you know keep some nice looking guppies uh, I think one of the questions you guys might ask me if I don't answer it is how often do I feed frozen? I try to feed frozen at least once a day. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes I run out um, and I have such high quality flake food in the fish room that, uh, you know, if I feed flake for a couple days, it's not going to hurt them for sure. But I, I like to feed frozen in the morning and then in the evening when I get home from work, I feed usually dry flake food. If I'm uh, specifically trying to grow something really fast, like the black panda guppies behind me, I'll feed frozen twice a day, maybe three times a day, in addition to additional fry food. But that's what we got, fishy folks. Don't forget to check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Smash that subscribe button, perhaps gently caress the like button for this video. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Don't forget, use promo code SPRING18 for 18% off your entire purchase at michaelsfishroom.com. Go there, check it out. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. Um, hope everyone is doing well. I have no idea what I want to say, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. So I did a video about uh, feeding guppies and uh, what am I talking about? Uh... All right, fishy folks, this is my orange flash. <clears throat> no, it's not. Okay, fishy folks, this is my Epistogramma cockatoides orange flash tank. And I haven't seen the male in about a day or so. He might be on eggs or something. Let's hope he's just on eggs or hiding. Well, let's feed some frozen blood worms. And you can see the females are going after them already like crazy. At least I hope you can see them. No, bad camera angle. <laughs> 